You don't know Bad man Yeah, yeah, yeah This body, baby What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wigs to Wasteland here with another quick wig review. So today it's on a new unit by Jana Collection. I did pick up their new unit in the style Tiana. She is part of their natural yak yaki texture, natural me light blowout texture collection. Now I do have this in three colors. The first color is the DRFF 1B Espresso Blonde, the one that you see here. Now with these units, I can tell you that you do not need to pluck or tweeze the parts. They look really, really good out of the box. As you guys can see here, um, it's very transparent. Now as far as the lace, it's not like super brown but it is brown girl friendly. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's not like an ashy white color. Definitely workable. For each of these units, I'm just gonna show you the cap construction for one. There's two combs in the front. There is one in the back with adjustable straps. Straight out of the pack, the hairline on here is very unnatural. That is one of the cons with this unit. Does not have like a pre-plugged hairline. This is kind of taking it way, way, way back <laughs> to your basic lace front unit. So you can go in if you want and pluck and tweeze, you know, just a few hairs out of here. I did decide to just try and swoopity sweep some baby hairs down. So um, cutting the lace on here was really, really easy. No issues with that. I like to include this because, like I said before, a lot of people think when you cut these uh, the lace on these units that you can just like breeze through it. If you are new to units and you're not really comfortable with cutting the lace, it is very important that you take your time. I did forget to mention that this unit does come with some very subtle baby hairs. In my opinion, they're not really yakky textured, but they are like super small, so it was really hard for me to find them. I did end up going through with my rat tail comb, as you guys will see, and I did pull out just a few hairs, and you guys know, struggle street when it comes to the baby hairs. Now, some of you may be asking why did I do this, especially with this being a middle part. I know some of you like baby hairs and some of you don't like baby hairs. Um, so I know this is probably going to come up. Um, so I wanted to show you that you can swoopity swoop some of them down. Now usually with colored units, I don't know what it is, but I do tend to have a problem for whatever reason they just won't stay put. I can't get them to swoop, whatever the case may be. I was very happy with this espresso blonde because I did not have any issues Swoopity swooping them hairs. <laughs> so this is a lot of hair. This is a very thick density unit. The texture on here is actually much better than the original Natural Me collection. So as you guys know, we've had some issues with it being heat safe. It's melted literally. Um, and I'm glad to say that this texture takes to heat. Now, I would not go on with a high heat on this unit. My curl wand was set to, I think, like 280. I would not go higher than 300 because then your unit is gonna look shiny. Especially with this texture, it is going to take out some of that bulk. Now, if you want to, you could go through with like your hot comb, or your flat iron, whatever you may use to take down the density on this unit, but buyer beware, she is a lot of hair. So pretty straightforward, I went in with the Juvia's Place Yodic color out of the uh, Warrior 2 palette. You guys know that's my go-to when it comes to my lace parts. Uh, so I did apply the powder, and as you guys can see, like I said, you do not need to pluck or tweeze the part on here. 
I did have my fan on and I noticed I was getting a few flyaways so I did go in with just a simple wax stick these are available any local beauty supply store or Amazon this one was gifted to me so I can leave a link um, it's by Wow African they sent me this quite um, a few months ago finished look for this color actually came out really good I was really surprised because I just knew that I was not gonna like this yellow blonde but I'm actually really happy with the way this came out I think they did a great job on the color blend it is dark rooted throughout and of course you do have the face framing highlights in the front my only con is that you guys can see in the front the highlight isn't even on the right on the left side um, you do get more highlights on the right um, but I think that was really my only complaint with this unit now I did forget to mention that all three of these units do have kind of that crimped look to the texture um, so I just definitely wanted to point that out so the next color that I picked up is the stock card color which is the DR1B4 ash blonde same thing with this one no plucking or tweezing needed the lace was actually very brown girl friendly same shade no difference in texture and i did go in and swoop down some baby hairs with this one as well i did find that this one was actually easier for me to swoopity swoop um than the first one but i did notice that for the cap on the left side of this unit for some reason it was sticking out more than the first one the fit was just a little bit different it still had a comfortable fit but the ear tabs just stuck out just a little bit now this color actually gave me <laughs> This color actually gave me a little bit of problem. Um, you do have to work with this color. You have to take your time, brush it out, get it to your liking. It's not like the first one where I could just brush it and it was real simple. For whatever reason, the layers didn't fall the way I really wanted them to or the way I expected them to. And as you can see on the left side, the layer just kind of fell flat. So after a couple of brush brushes, this unit actually the curls did fall a bit and I just knew that I was gonna love this color more based off of the stock card but I was actually feeling the espresso blonde a little bit more than this ash blonde I seriously feel like I saved the best for last you can almost never go wrong with a 1B or a 2 and baby this unit in this number two is everything I fell in love with the finished look I did go in with the Juvia's Place the Warrior 2 palette the color Yoda same thing um, here I'm just brushing off a little of the excess but this unit oh my gosh now Compared to the blonde units, this texture was a little bit more soft. I did notice that it still had the crinkle, you know, the kind of crimped look to it. It was very subtle. Now, this color was also much more fuller than the blonde units, in my opinion. Um, it just seemed like it was more full. Um, same thing, it had a lot of body to it, a lot of movement. Now, for all three units, the cap construction was very comfortable. So big shout out to all my big head girls out there. This is definitely big head friendly. I had no issues with shedding for all three units. However, keep in mind, this is a high density unit. It does rest below your shoulders. It will eventually tangle. I really have no cons with the color number two. This was the easiest to work with out of the pack. Very beginner friendly. And even with the bump ends, I didn't mind it for the style. I think it came out really, really good. And of course, this is definitely giving me Anisha vibes in this style. Very, very happy with the outcome, actually for all three. Now, overall, would I buy this unit again? Most 
definitely. <laughs> Sis, I would cop this in a two or a one B like pronto. I would actually buy a few because baby, this, she's everything. I absolutely love the color number two on here. So I hope you guys are happy with this review. Let's chat in the comment section down below. If I left out anything with this review, definitely let me know. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, make sure you guys are getting all post notifications. That helps me help you. It helps me get noticed and it helps me get suggested on YouTube and it helps me reach more ladies. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you for tuning in. Definitely appreciate it. As always, ladies, make sure you keep wearing it with confidence, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, guys, so I've got a special shout out for Aristos. This is a friend of my son's. And I told him if he had some good grades, which he does, I would give him a shout out on my channel. So I understand you guys are interested in wigs. You're not interested in gaming. He is a gaming channel. So if you do have young men or women in your life, teenagers that are interested in gaming channels, definitely check him out. Big thank you to all of you for tuning in. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Until next time. Talk to you soon. <laughs>